spaceship consisting of five astronauts left Earth in search of habitable planets in our solar system. But wait, what happened to Earth? What happened to the planet that we already live in? How did we come to this part where we look for another planet to colonize? To know that, we must go back to the past, to the beginning of our journey. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up, it's gonna be one ride that you are going to enjoy. Earth, the beautiful blue planet where life is flourishing and ecosystems are so diverse that scientists are still discovering new species day by day. But if Earth was so perfect, why did we leave it? Well, as every good things have endings, Earth too has an end. Long time back, scientists discovered that our planet is slowly running out of resources. The human race as we know it was soon going to run into a dead end. Well, what caused this? Well, humans caused this. Humans act as a catalyst to this problem. How, you may ask? As a result of environmental pollution, greenhouse gases in Earth have risen by 78% since 1970. That's a huge number. That's not only the thing. Because of this, global warming and climate change has become a main problem in our world. We're also running out of primary fuel resources, such as fossil fuels and thermal energy. Without any power, we can't proceed to do our daily activities. You might say, hold on, what about solar energy and hydropower? Well, the problem is, we don't have the technology to efficiently harness the full energy of light coming from our sun to the earth. Needless to say, hydropower will also be of no use if we don't have any water. So what do we do? What's the solution for this and how do we do it? Okay, forget about what's going to happen and let's think about what we have at the moment and what we can do with it. The only solutions we will have is either to make a space civilization which involves only space, or we could move on to more efficient and more effective ways of living, like colonizing another planet. Well, to colonize another planet, we must first see if they are habitable or not, which means we must see if the planet we are about to colonize can support life. Unfortunately for us, there are no planets in our solar system's habitable zone which supports life. What is this habitable zone? Well, the habitable zone is where the planet is not too far away from the sun, nor it's too close. Even though Venus, Mars and Earth are all in the habitable zone, only Earth currently supports life. But although Mars is uninhabitable, it doesn't have surface melting temperatures like Venus does. In fact, Venus's temperature is 475 degrees Celsius. That's really hot. That's 30 times the average surface temperature of Earth. But why is Mars currently uninhabitable? Well, you see, Mars does not have a good atmosphere like Earth does. So the water vapor that ultimately does get end up in Mars' atmosphere gets destroyed by the sun's radiation. And also, Mars' atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide. Us being human, we need oxygen to survive. But compared to other planets, Mars will be the right candidate for mission. In order to successfully reach Mars and colonize it, first we must build a moon base. Because of the Earth's gravity, it will be harder to launch full-stack spaceships from Earth to Mars with ease. More material means more mass, hence harder it will be for the spaceship to break free from the Earth's gravity. For now, let's assume that we have a moon base. Well, that's only one problem solved. The next problem we are going to face is the distance. Mars will be closest to our planet every two years, so we have a limited launch window. 
we must be able to launch spacecraft before it gets further away from the Earth since we would need to burn more fuel the further it get, gets away. But wait, who is going to build or fund this mission? A spacecraft consisting of all life support functions will require $10 million to build. Well, in our current time, NASA has successfully landed a rover in Mars. Elon Musk, a billionaire who owns Tesla and SpaceX, is more likely to accomplish this mission in the coming years. So let's assume that we already have all the needed requirements in order for us to reach Mars and colonize it. Well, before colonizing Mars, let's take our time to understand what colonization really is. Colonization is settling among another unknown area with different indigenous people from various areas on Earth. So now we are all set to begin and continue our journey. The first spacecraft consisting of five astronauts successfully reached Mars's orbit and it's now ready for the first human attempted landing on another planet. After landing, there are procedures you must follow. The first one being getting used to Mars's gravity. Since Mars is smaller than Earth, Mars's gravity is only 38% times that of Earth. It will be challenging for the new colonists to adapt to the gravity. After they get used to Mars's gravity, it will be time for them to start their mission. Studying the Martian soil and atmosphere will be the second step into colonizing the planet. But what about the fuel source? Here on Mars, the most efficient fuel source will be solar energy and nuclear energy. Although solar energy is good, with the planet being further away from the sun, the amount of light which reaches the planet will be less. So the only thing that we got going for us will be nuclear energy. After the five colonists are done with their mission, there will be another spacecraft consisting with genetically engineered plants that will grow on Martian soil in self-supported environments. These plants will be the future of agriculture and the primal food source in Mars. Now, let's assume that we have everything we need for the time being. So what now? What's the next step? Well, in Mars, humans will be forced to live in self-contained and life-supported domes till the planet's atmosphere consists of more oxygen. We accomplish this by planting more plants in Mars, in artificial greenhouses. This will help us slowly fix the atmosphere in Mars. After we successfully colonize Mars, it will be time for our fellow human beings to start and expand our colony in Mars. With more and more spaceships arriving in Mars with more colonists and with more resources, we will try to make Mars a habitable planet without artificial life support in the coming years.